What's up everyone, this is Diego Av, and I'm gonna show you how to flip a sample and get the most out of those sample packs you guys like to buy. Now, I know a lot of them may sound generic, but you can get a lot more out of them than you think, like this guy here I just found. Nothing special, right? Well, let's see if we can make something out of this. By the way, you can do this in any software. I'm just using Ableton, but it'll work as well on FL Studio, Logic Pro, or Pro Tools. Right now, we're at a 120 BPM. The first thing I do is try to find the perfect tempo for it. So this one felt a little slow for me, so I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. So we'll go to 155. The next thing I do is listen for the pitch. Let's try to pitch this down a little bit and see what it sounds like. That definitely sounds a lot darker and more interesting. The next thing I'm going to do is open up a plugin called Rhythmizer. It's really similar to FL Studio's Gross Beat. Um, you should be able to use it as well on FL, so I'd highly recommend it. Let's see what it sounds like double speed. To me, that sounded really cool. So I'm going to save that as one section of the track. Now I'm going to try to make a new section using the same sample. Now I'm going to try to EQ the sample. It was a little bright for me. All right, that sounds great. Now let's go back to the other section. Let's try to maybe reverse it, see what that sounds like. Now how I hear it, I would put the reverse sound underneath the double time sound and see what that feels like. That sounded pretty cool to me. So let's take out some of the high end of the reverse sound so we could blend it in with the other sound better. Now after doing all this, I feel like it's a little fast for me. So let's try to bring back the tempo to maybe 143. Now to me that sounds like a really cool intro, so let's try to get the next section of this song, maybe the verse. Now let's go back to our original sample, see if that could work. Now I like to keep everything separate, so I put everything in its own track. So with our original track, let's try throwing some filtering on it, see if it works. Just for kicks, let's try to put some rhythm in the sample because it feels a little bit flat for me. Let's try to use this plugin called Kickstart. I think that might do it. So it's always good to try to sneak in some rhythm on these samples because once the drums go on top of it, it'll feel real nice together. I'm gonna blend this down so it's not too much. Let's try to get really creative and uh, use this plugin called Effect Tricks. Maybe we could find a new sequence for it. I'm gonna go ahead and go through a few of these presets they have because some of them are pretty cool until I find the one that I actually like. This one's pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to start muting out the effects that are a little bit too much for me and keep the ones that are cool. Last but not least, I want to try this plugin called Movement. It might just give it the last finishing touches it needs. Now, I know it may feel like we're doing so much on just one sound, but that's what sampling is all about. Try to flip this sound so much to where it sounds like a whole brand new sound.
So I think Swampy March is the preset for me on this track. Uh, I'm just gonna bring down the mix level a little bit on it. This effect should give it a cool bounce for the final touches. So now we have two different sections on the track. So let's listen to the original sample before we did any effects on it, so we can hear it before and after. So we started with the very generic loop, and now we have a real modern track where we could actually make a really dope beat out of this. One last little gem I'm going to leave you with is this plugin called Pitch Wheel. So what I do with it is actually pretty interesting. Instead of using an EQ to boost up the high end, or if you're ever stuck with a sample that you really like and it has no high end in it because it was filtered out, you can actually use this sample to create the high end that doesn't exist. What I do is I pitch up the sound an octave and I blend it in with the original track. So it gives it some nice air that was never actually there. So these are a few cool tips and tricks to get the most out of your samples and audio loops. If you have any questions, comment on the video, or if you have any ideas for my next video, please leave a comment and subscribe.